As we deal with the extreme summer heat, the city of Phoenix is testing a pilot project to try and lower temps around town. The city is teaming up with researchers to see if using a different kind of cooling pavement could help make a difference. Team 12's Jen Wald joins us from Esteban Park in Phoenix to explain. This project is getting started and this parking lot here at Esteban Park in Phoenix is one spot that will be a testing ground for the cooling pavement technology. Summer in Phoenix and the heat is radiating off the pavement. So the city says they're trying to cool things off and ASU's Ariana Medell is part of the research team. Assess the impact of those cool pavements that they'll be implementing over the summer. One goal of the project to reduce the urban heat island effect in Phoenix. That means the city is warmer than rural areas around it. At night, the differences in temperatures can be as much as 22 degrees hotter than areas measured outside the heat island, according to the EPA. Those cool pavements are a way to reduce the surface temperature of those roads um, and then in the hope that that would reduce the air temperature. This is the cool pavement technology Medell is talking about. The city sent us this video laying it out. Phoenix says they chose parts of the city to test and Medell will track data too. We would like to look at the radiative effect of the pavement. Uh, we will investigate the durability. Here's how it works. Cool pavement is created to reflect sunlight. That's unlike darker asphalt, which Medell says acts as a sponge. It heats up quickly during the day and holds that heat until the sun sets. And as those surfaces are hot, they warm the air that's above those surfaces and that leads to higher air temperature at night and that's the urban heat island. Medell, who's also worked a project similar to this in Los Angeles, says they'll study temperatures on the reflective pavement, sustainability and more. The city says they hope this will help mitigate issues like more energy consumption and greenhouse gas emissions. We have to look at all the different things we have, like from tree planting. And Medell adds this is just one potential solution in the overall picture and researchers are expected to be working with the city on this for the next several years. For now, we're in Phoenix, Jen Wall, 12 News.